Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, am I taking the mick out of Darren there? <laughs> As you can see, he's right behind me. So we actually ended up coming on a bit of a road trip for the crack and you won't believe it, but we are actually in Scotland, Isle of Skye. So yeah, so we drove all night long, basically got in a ferry in Northern Ireland and came over across the channel. And now we are literally in uh, Kilchurn Castle. So we're not in Isle of Skye just yet. And we have a few stops that we have to make to get to this guy. So we want to stop off at the Black Cottage first, and then we're going to stop off at Glen Etive Moor, and then we're going to head for a tire then for the rest of the night in Glen Coe, uh, and sleep the night there, and then move on then to another few spots tomorrow. So, like I said, we're at Kilchurn Castle now, okay, and we're here with Darren J. Spoonie and Paddy Murta. Paddy is from Loud, Dundalk, Black, Black where? Black Rock. Black Rock, I, I, I always get that wrong. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a bit of crack for a few days and we're going to bring you along the whole way. So, let's go. Some of your all night long things? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> wow. As you can see here, you can kind of make it out just above my finger. So that is Kilchurn Castle. But unfortunately, we have a bit of a problem. It is absolutely surrounded by these kind of gates. So maybe this castle is about to go under some reconstruction of some sort. Uh, so getting a shot up nice and close to it is just non-existent. But from what I've seen online, a lot of people actually shoot from the western side of the river. So they kind of shoot backwards and you have all this lovely mountain range in the background. So we've just kind of learned that now. But what I'm going to do now is stick on the 7200 and kind of really zoom in at 200mm and really kind of compress the background and maybe shoot through these reeds and kind of frame it as much as I can and see what type of shot we get. Okay guys, so we're on to the next part of the journey of the day. So we're actually heading, like I said, to the Black Cottage, which is just below uh, the kind of Glencoe kind of ski resort. So we'll see what's going on there. And I remember from the last time that we were there, there was a nice little restaurant there. So we might get a bit of grub there, better than cooking, because we're all kind of pretty shot, to be honest with you, from all the traveling. Uh, thank God now Darren is actually taking the wheel, so I can take a bit of a break. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to getting to the next spot. Um, because the last time I took a photograph here, uh, I took uh, just a really long exposure and it I felt like it didn't really, really work too much. All right, so we've come to our latest location. Like I promised, we are at Black Rock Cottage. As you can see, it's a pretty simple composition. Okay, you put it on the left, you put it on the right, as Darren said a while ago. Um, I'm looking forward to reshooting really this because the last time I shot it, 
wasn't quite happy and to be, all, be honest with you there's all this lovely fleet and light and all this lovely clouds kind of coming in in uh, between the valleys and the mountains it could prove very very nice to a motion time no not a motion time lapse just a normal time lapse i left my slider back in ireland uh so yeah let's so let's get this going because uh i'm very worried about the rain coming on the lens just in case and blah 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 so let's get going <laughs> Right, so we're back out on the landscape again and we made our way up to Bukel Et Bukel Et Moor. As you can see, it's very, very impressive. And the light what we might get is very, very promising. I can't wait to get the camera and the tripod set up to get some lovely, lovely shots. The colour in the sky is starting to turn kind of a yellow, kind of pinky coloured in off in the distance right behind us. And it's going to be unbelievably epic. Now, when it's back here in 2017, we went to a lovely spot. I cannot find it for love nor money. I have a funny feeling it might be just a further bit down and turn right and then back up kind of like down a, down a bit of a kind of, I don't know, a small bit of a, an off-road there. So Darren's just setting up here now. He's, uh, he's shooting with the 16 to 35 F4 and he's going to shoot kind of a vertical craft. Uh, I might more likely kind of do the same idea myself. But I, of course, I'll shoot a horizontal crop as well. Uh, I don't know, I really don't know where freaking uh, Paddy's gone to. Uh, and we just kind of ran because we don't have much time, we need to get up and shoot her fast. All right, so we're just about to finish up here at Book a little bit more, and boy, have we had a feckin' joy of a shoot. Got some epic drone footage, some epic drone photographs, and some nice photographs from land as well, but I'm really, really excited about the drone stuff. I really am, especially since we have the Micro Four Third Sensor and the Mavic 3. I mean, I just can't wait to see it on the computer. Um, so, look, it's the end of day one. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode. I hope you tune into next week and you get to see day two. Uh, you know, hopefully it's going to feature the fairy pools, which I've always said from the Irish Photography Podcast, I have unfinished business from that place. So can't wait to get there tomorrow and get my feet wet. All right, so guys, I'll see you next episode. Hey -oh!